2,460 pounds of light iron. Two cents a pound still. 49.20. The good news is, well, if it's $50 or less, you get cash, not a check. So, there you go. It's a lot of stuff. 49 bucks. But, most of that stuff, I already got paid to remove. So you end up just uh, getting a little gas money, maybe a coffee or something, you never know. Coffee today, boys. Not hungry. Some days, not really hungry. So, times have changed. Scrapping. Back in the day, you know, it was worth something. Could fill the truck, get a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks for the day. Now we fill the truck and the trailer, get fifty bucks. But it's uh, it's really changed because the metal itself is not really worth anything, but. I've had to start charging people to take it and uh, works out sometimes I mean you know Mrs. you know if Mrs. Johnson has a you know washer or something you know sitting outside or you know her son got outside and it's broken and she needs it taken away then you know obviously I just if it's something like that I can back up into and just push up in the truck I mean I'm not going to not going to charge for that, but, um, you know, if I got to go in, inside a house and something and lug stuff out, a bunch of appliances like that last job, um, you know, the lady happened to be a real estate lady, you know, and you know what that means, and she buys all sorts of properties, and she bought that old house, and there's all kinds of stuff in there, garage, basement, kitchen, bedroom, and she, it was a lot of appliances, but there was also uh, some trash, you know, and stuff, you know, um, a couple mattresses and some bags of trash and just, you know, random stuff, and, you know, that's, she wanted a total clean out, so I kind of priced it like I really priced it high because I really didn't want to even mess with it because I know how much the metal's worth. So, um, really, 
not even something I really uh, was too crazy about doing, but to my surprise, she said, okay, sounds good, so I had to do it, and uh, it's weird because I want to be disappointed when I get the 50, you know, for that stuff there, but really, I already made plenty of money off the job, this is just, you know, you got to get rid of it somewhere, and uh, it happens to be an hour away, but if there's nothing much else going on, I could take a little ride, and, uh, you know, it's all, all the gas is paid for, um, but I guess, uh, I don't know, I could do it a couple of different ways, I mean, however you look at it, it's like, I could just take the metal down to the, uh, the town dump, and it's, you know, two, two seconds down the road from me, um, they have a big metal pile, and you can just drop stuff off, I mean, I could just dump it all there in a case like that, because I really don't need to make the money, and then I spend, you know, 20, 30 bucks in gas to get there to the scrapyard, so it's like, how do you weigh it out? I mean, the only thing is, at the town dump, they charge for, um, for fridges, you know, anything with, uh, Freon and stuff in them, so, that's like $10 a fridge, so I wouldn't even, you know, in this case, I had three fridges on here, um, so that wouldn't have worked, but I don't know. I guess you can look at it like if I keep going to that scrapyard, then, you know, I make a name for myself, and, you know, there's something to be said for that so that people know me and I bring them a lot of stuff or whatever. Um, so... might change a little bit come winter time which we're already we're here and uh, when those roads get covered in snow I'm not gonna really be uh, wanting to you know travel with a two-wheel drive farm truck down to uh, you know an hour away to go um, drop all that stuff off so I don't know what I'll do you know, in that case, I'll have to wait or just get rid of it at the dump if I already got paid. So, I don't know. It's definitely a lot different these days, like I said. And it's, uh, you know, and then with the cars, it's funny, you know. Back in the day, I used to get paid by weight make the car as heavy as you can. I used to fill it with as much scrap as I could and bring it in, weigh it up, and get paid. These days, the weight don't matter. I don't even get paid by weight on the cars anymore. The guy I go to, he buys complete cars. Doesn't even have a scale. Whatever it is. If it's a regular car, it's one price, and then uh, an SUV, and a van, and a full-size truck. It's all different. All different pricing doesn't matter. Could be missing an engine, rear end, transfer case, transmission. He still buys it as a complete car. And then all I got to do, chop the cat off and uh, sheesh, make it easy. Um, yeah, just cut the cat off and then same guy. Right while I'm there, pays me separately. He's a core buyer, buys the cat off of me, pays me for the complete car. If it has a battery, he pays me for that. If it's got aluminum wheels, I get paid for each wheel. I don't have to take the tires off. I don't have to drain fluids and, you know, a lot of, a lot of scrap yards around here, they want you to uh, drop the gas tanks and, you know, drain all the oil and antifreeze and everything out of them and uh that's crazy but i get a car all i gotta do is chop chop on the cat 
bring it down to him. So, just been pretty much paying what I'm going to get, you know, for the car itself. And then I gamble on the cat, and that'll be my profit. So, usually works out to a couple hundred bucks, you know, for a complete car, depending, because obviously I know which ones are more than others on the uh, cat department. So, times are definitely a lot different as far as scrap goes. I don't know. A lot, a lot of the um, other stuff like copper and aluminum and stuff kind of went up a little bit. It's not too bad. Copper is pretty good right now, but I don't really get a lot of that. You know, I usually save it up. And uh, I already made my run with all that stuff. So, whatever I get now, I just separate, put aside save till next season but um another little problem I've been having kind of affecting my my uh my hustle if you would is um prices of uh catalytic converters has um gone up quite a bit as you heard me talk about before and uh Needless to say, there's some some guys that feel that they can just uh, slide under a car with a cordless sawzall and chop chop, and they're making money. Um, it's happening a lot. A lot of thefts going on around. Uh, people park their cars in parking lots to carpool, you know, uh, into work with other people, and they come back, fire it up, and no exhaust loud as hell it's happening and uh, every cat has a number on it they can trace that back find out and uh, the guy I sell to if you're just selling him cats he takes a picture of your license he's got all your information so he knows each one but who knows if he looks looks the other way on some just to make money it's all a, it's all about the hustle everyone's out to make money however they can so but the other thing is in my area it's a small town there's only uh, only 4,000 people in the town that I live in and um, I'm running into a lot of cars that I go look at you know that people want to junk and I go and so I can make them an offer and uh, when I go look at it the first obviously the first thing I do is look underneath because you got to see what's under there to you know know what you're gonna pay for it and uh, chopped right off And I tell the people, a lot of the times, people don't even know. They don't even know what a cat is. They don't, you know, know anything about it. But in the middle of the night or wherever, someone came by and helped themselves to it. So now the people want to jump the car, but it's really not worth it to me because unless I get the car for free or like 50 bucks or something because, you know, I got to... A regular car is, you know, is only paying 160, I think, for just, you know, any car, whatever it is, you know, Ford Focus, you know, um, to a, you know, to a Cadillac. It's all, uh, it's all the same price. So with no cat on it, how do I buy that and still make money? I gotta take. Um, it's two hours to the guy from me that, um, to the guy's yard that buys the cars and stuff, so, that's, uh, that's a tank of gas in the dually with the big block, um, 
So you're not really uh, not scoring big on something like that. Of course, if I had other stuff to go down, cats, batteries, wheels, or whatever, I could uh, make money that way, but usually it doesn't happen. So, um, you know, I've actually... I've actually refused a couple of cars. I, I can't believe it. Um, but, I mean, you know, they got it sitting there on blocks, no, you know, missing tires and, and you know, no keys and doesn't roll. I mean, it's going to take me, you know, a couple hours to get it on my trailer fighting and stuff with that. And uh, then to just make a... you know, make 50 bucks, 75 bucks for the day, it's really not, not really worth it, not really worth my time, but, um, that's what's happening, and, uh, there's a guy going around, and he's just knocking on doors, offering money just to buy the cats, offering people the money, he's got no tow truck, nothing, he just drives a regular truck, and He's got a cordless sawzall with him, and uh, I made a deal, just for instance, just one, I know, long story, but um, this older guy, I saw his truck on Craigslist, and uh, he had it on there for a long time, F-150, you know those got the good kitties, and uh, called him up, anyway, arranged it, drove over there, was right in town, went and looked at it, actually seen the truck sitting there before, I knew which one it was, and, uh, you know, it was all rotted out, frame was all rotted, which is usually the case up here, and, uh, I looked under there, and it had the four, the four cats on it, you know, the sticks, it was good, it was about, uh, 98 or something. 98 F-150, I think, and so I made a deal to buy the thing, um, we shook hands on the price, and, uh, I said, listen, I said, I just, uh, you know, bought a car today, and I gotta process it, and bring it in, and cash it, and, you know, because I work, you know, I work car to car, I mean, and, and I said, you know, I can, uh, most likely uh, give you a call tomorrow or the next day. Come pick it up. So, cashed in a car, did pretty well, did some other stuff that day. The next day, it was raining, and I called him to uh, possibly set something up for when the rain stopped that day or in the rain, whatever, if he needed it right then or the next day. You know, it was a Saturday, wake up, nice Saturday, go pick up the truck, whatever. So, he doesn't answer, I send him a message, you know. I said, yeah, you know, I'm all ready. And come pick that car up. And uh, he said, no, nope, I already sold it. And I said, well, I don't understand that. I said, we just made a deal. It's only, it's not even been one day. I mean, we made a deal yesterday shook hands on the deal, and now, how could you have already sold it, you know, so, turns out, he says, well, later on that night, he sends me a message, and says, a guy came, knocked on my door, and offered me 300 bucks, if I could, if he could cut the cats off, right there in my yard, so, I said, yeah, sure, and, he said, uh, I sold him the cats, so uh, the truck's here. Or no, he said, sorry. He said he's going to come back and get the rest of the truck, too. So I said, well, that's nice. You know, I was professional about it. I just said, you know, um, I don't understand it. I mean, we made a deal, but, you know, life goes on, so whatever. So then the next day, a guy sends me a message and says, Oh, um, that guy's not coming to get the rest of the truck. I said, I kind of laughed and said, Yeah, I knew that. And he said, Well, he said, The good news is it's still here for you. 
and uh, come get it whenever you want. I said, I said, I don't want it now. Why don't you want it now? I said, you sold the most valuable thing off of it. He said, oh, those were worth that much money. I said, the guy paid you more for those than I was going to pay you for the whole truck. What does that tell you? You know, I said, now, now you got scrap metal. I said, it's free, free scrap, it's, you know. So he got all bent out of shape because he screwed himself, you see. He thought he was being all smart thinking he could sell some parts off of it before I bought it make more money but now he's got a truck with a rotted frame, flat tires doesn't run sitting in his yard with the cats cut off of it that nobody wants so he's going to have to either give it away I mean a lot of guys want so junk guys won't even go get it but you might actually end up paying somebody to take that away. So he learned his lesson. But we missed out on some money. And uh, that was that guy. I found out what the guy's name is through talking to other people. And uh, I've also heard that the same guy that's doing that is. Uh, is the one that's just helping himself to uh, anything he wants, you know. So that's the way that goes.